Hi, my name is Dirk Van Gelder um, from Pixar, and I wanted to show you a little bit about some open source technology that we have, Open Subdiv, that we're going to be showing at SIGGRAPH 2013 in Anaheim. I wanted to give you a little preview of the technology and show you some of the presentations that we'll be doing at SIGGRAPH that you may be interested in, and show why this, why this technology is important and why we developed it. So here we have Hardscrabble. Hardscrabble is the dean of Monsters University. She's a very cool character, a little bit scary, but a very cool character. I hope that you've had a chance to see her already. If you haven't, please go rush out and see the movie because we always appreciate that. Um, and what we see is her in the Presto animation system, which is the animation system that Pixar developed internally for animators to use. And we see her in the representation that traditionally animators have seen here. We see a smooth plastic approximation of the real character. You see some faceted edges there, and you see no surface detail that you would see in the final render. In the final render, this character has a lot of detail and spikes and lines and wrinkles that you don't see here. And we wanted to try to do something about that. We wanted to try to first give the animators a more geometrically accurate representation of the subdivision surfaces that show up in the final render that RenderMan does. And we also wanted to add some of the textural detail to the surface that you see in the final render to help inform what the animator's workflow. So let's start out with geometry. This is the geometry of Hardscrabble. Hardscrabble was modeled by Michael Hansel. And subdivision surfaces allow you to have nice sparse geometry in here. This is the final geometry that we render with. But you can see that we didn't have to model lots of little spans to get that surface detail in. We model the original spans somewhat coarsely and then use subdivision surfaces to give us some more detail or even more detail. Here, Open Subdiv is taking that original polygonal representation and giving you the final limit surface for Catmull Clark subdivision that RenderMan would give you. And we do that in real time to be able to give our animators an accurate representation of where the surface is going to be in the final render. Now, some of the magic that's happening here is that the, the computer now knows that th that surface is a smooth surface. As I zoom in, you can see geometry being created on her nose, and as I zoom out, you can see that geometry goes away. In the past, the computer only knew that the surface was a series of flat planes. But now that the computer knows that it's curved, it can be able to take advantage of modern GPU architectures using things like OpenGL tessellation and CUDA and OpenCL to be able to make those decisions on the fly on thousands of computer graphics cores to be able to give our animators real-time feedback on that smooth curved geometry. So that's a few words on the geometry of what's happening under, but also we can talk about surface detail and texture. It was important to us to be able to take the images from the final render, all of that surface detail, and map it back onto our character. Historically, animators would see this. We wanted them to be able to see something like this. Here, what we're doing is we're taking the final render, and we're taking the pixels from the final render, and we're mapping it back onto the surface to be able to show our animators what hard scrabble is actually going to do in the final render and show that to them in real time in their interactive sessions. So as you go and look at the side of Hard Scrabble's head here, for instance, as you move her brow up and down, you can see that there's a lot of texture stretching and shearing going on. But if you didn't have all that surface detail, it's harder to see. As you look at that, you can't really tell what's exactly happening back here around those little spikes on her head. But when you do turn on the surface detail, you can see a lot of that. And it's important for animators to see where that deformation is happening and where the shearing is happening while they work interactively. And this is something that we're aiming to get by using Open Subdiv in Pixar's Presto animation software to be able to give you that real-time feedback. So that's why Pixar developed this technology. But we also wanted to share it. We wanted to have other people be able to take advantage of it because we know that our artists exist not in a world solely of our pe Presto animation system, but in an ecosystem of third-party tools that we also want to be able to take advantage of Open Subdiv for our own needs. So here I wanted to show you, we have the website for Open Subdiv. It's graphics.pixar.com slash Open Subdiv. We have a lot of documentation here that's coming, but we also have a web page here of presentations that we'll be doing at SIGGRAPH in Anaheim also at the DigiPro conference, so please go to the website and check it out. In particular, I wanted to highlight a course that we're presenting on Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday, July 23rd, from 2 to 5.15 in room 304 AD. We're presenting with Charles Loop from Microsoft, Manuel Kramer from Pixar, myself, and also we're showing with Motorola, who's going to show their implementation of Open Subdiv on a mobile device. We think that that's a nice example showing the research behind Open Subdiv, its use in animated feature production, and its implementation on mobile devices that we're very excited about. We hope to see you in Anaheim. Thank you.